Did you know there's a specific point in your service motion that if you don't get there in an effective way and you don't get to this position properly, you have zero chance of developing an amazing serve? My name is Jeff Salzenstein. I'm the founder of Tennis Evolution, one of the leading online tennis instruction websites in the world. And in today's lesson, I'm going to show you what this specific point in the motion is and how to get there, how to make your serve as effective as possible by mastering this one position. Now, what is it? Well, you've probably heard the term before. It's called the trophy position or trophy pose. And it's called this because if you were to play a tournament and win that tournament and you receive the trophy, oftentimes the tournament will give you that trophy with a figure on top of it that looks something like this. And hence the name trophy position or trophy pose in the serve. Now, I like to call this position in the serve the midpoint. Essentially, you're loading everything up to get into this trophy position. And before you essentially accelerate up towards the ball, you have to find this position. All great professionals find it. If you don't, you're not going to be able to serve in the most efficient, effective manner possible. And a lot of players struggle with getting to this position for several reasons. And I wanna go through some specific drills that you can do today that are gonna help you find that trophy position. But first, we have to talk about the grip. Why is that? If you don't have the right grip, as I mentioned earlier, if you don't make the right move, you have zero chance of developing a great serve. If you don't have the right grip, you can't get into a, an appropriate trophy position. If you have what's called a forehand grip on your serve, which I would say 80% of all players have this grip, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to find a great trophy position because the racket face is most likely going to be open. Your palm is going to be up. You must get into a continental grip. Okay, Your continental grip is, gives you the best chance really the only chance of getting to this awesome trophy position before you drop the racket behind you and accelerate up to the ball. Okay, so get that continental grip rocking. It's my mission and it's my passion to be able to change, revolutionize the way players serve around the world. And it has to start with helping people with the right, getting to the right grip and understanding the proper motion and the proper drills to do. So make sure you get that continental grip and now I wanna show you some really cool drills that can help you master this trophy position. First is what I call the half serve motion. The half serve motion essentially means you're going to have the racket in this position to start. Now notice it's on, I'm starting with the racket on the side of the body that will, that's my dominant side. So I'm left-handed, uh, I'm starting with a racket on the left side of the mo my body. If I was right-handed, it would start on the right side of the body. You don't want to start in a half-serve position with the racket back like this, in a back scratch position. You want to start with it here, almost like you're saluting something, okay? You're going to salute. Now, you want to have the hand close to your head. You don't want it far away from your head out here. And you also don't want it back here. So you're going to have the hand close to your body like this, or to your head, I should say and the racket is angled like this. So when I toss the ball and I turn, that's my trophy position. So I'm basically moving, I'd say I'm moving my hand about a foot in distance, but I'm not moving my arm or straightening my arm. I'm just starting in the position with the hand close in this throwing motion here, and I toss the ball and I turn like this. So you can see if I, if I grab a ball here and I start in this position and I toss it, now I'm in my trophy position. I also make sure to be in a platform stance. You can do this with a pinpoint stance, moving your back foot up, but I find it easier just to stabilize the stance and then just use the half serve motion to master your trophy position. Now, once you've improved that, then I suggest you go to what I, what, what I call the three quarters serve position. Okay, so we have the half serve and now we have the three quarter serve. You start with the racket down by your back leg like this. So the strings that are going to make the strings that the side of the strings that will make contact with the ball will be facing the back knee here. 
And when I toss the ball, I think about bending my arm. So I do not keep my arm straight. That's one problem that players have is they, they, they keep the arm straight and they open up the palm like this. So you want to have your arm straight with the strings facing the knee. As soon as the ball is tossed, then you bend the elbow like this, okay? Or you bend the arm like this and you find your trophy. Now, if you were just to start in a three quarters position and try to find trophy position and you, you struggled with it you know, before doing this drill, it's going to be harder for you to do it. That's why I recommend half serve first. Get this down. Then you could graduate to even moving the racket down to this position by the waist. Start at the waist with the arm bent and then toss the ball and find trophy then you can come down to three quarters position. Starting your serve motion here instead of here is much easier to find the trophy position. Starting in a full motion is what's causing a lot of problems out there with servers. You get going with these weird habits in the beginning and you can't find the trophy position. Okay, so start with a three quarters drill. Okay, and what you can do is just have the racket right here and then you're gonna toss the ball and then you find your trophy position as you do it. Okay, you're just, I'm thinking about bending my arm and, I, and I'm in position just like that, okay? So that's the second drill that you can perform to help you with your trophy position. Now I wanna get into the third drill that you can do. And this third drill is just simply called the trophy position pose or trophy position hold, I should say. Trophy position hold. This time you don't have a ball you pretend to toss it and you bend your knees and you just hold like this. And you're gonna learn a lot about your serve when you do this because a lot of times when people do this, they actually get their weight off of their back foot. Okay, you wanna be able to keep your weight on your back foot. And here's a little trick here is when you keep your weight on your back foot, you still have to elevate this hip. You can't just squat down like this. And if you go forward on your front foot like this, you don't wanna lose the weight on your back foot. But Trophy pose or trophy, the trophy position hold is an amazing drill just to practice. I like to do it with my eyes closed. I like to have my, my uh, students do it and even hold for 30 seconds. Put a video on it and see how close your trophy position looks to mine. This arm is straight. Notice how the palm of the hand is to the side. So I start with the palm of the hand up and then it turns to the side. I'm in my trophy position and I'm holding it. And you should hold that for time. 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds. Close your eyes, get the feeling of what's that, what, what that is like, okay? That's drill number three. Drill number four is, continuous serve, is, is the continuous serve drill. And I've seen this time and time again. I'll have players come out for a lesson and they'll toss the ball and they'll open their racket face like this and their trophy position looks terrible. I'm sorry. Sorry if you're watching this and I've given you a lesson and, yeah, in your trophy position wasn't very good, but it just doesn't look right. It's not effective, it's not efficient, it's not the way the pros are serving. And so what happens is when they toss the ball, they get to this position. So what I do is I teach players to do the continuous serve drill, where they just move the racket in this fashion like this. And what I end up seeing is that a player will get into this motion like this, and they'll actually, just by being continuous with their motion, when they just swing like this, watch where my trophy is here. Okay, here's my trophy just by keeping my palm down and I find trophy in this position. Now what's interesting is that that trophy position starts to look better without a ball. And as soon as I say, okay, now hit the ball, guess what most players do? They go back to opening the racket face when they toss the ball. So you've got to go from um, moving the racket without a ball, okay, Working on this continuous serve, keep, it's like a figure eight right here, figure eight coming back and you just keep it moving. Then you can bring a ball into it and toss it, but don't hit the ball because if you try to hit the ball, you might go back to your old habits. And then finally you can try to hit the ball. But again, I've seen this time and time again. A lot of players actually struggle finding that trophy position when the ball is in play. So you have to do a lot of drills without hitting the ball, without looking at where the ball goes. And that brings us to the fifth drill. And this is essentially, you're gonna practice serving into a fence. And so what I want you to do is serve into a fence so that you're not judging the result of the serve that you're hitting. One of the best things you can do is come over to a fence 
and practice, practice getting into your trophy position and practice trying to hit the serve by learning how to get into the trophy position. We need a new fence here. It's going right through the fence. Either that or I gotta slow down the speed here, huh? So you can practice your trophy position into a fence. Again, if you try to hit the ball with your normal serve, your normal motion, when you toss the ball, you're gonna go back to old habits. So it's so important. I have players actually toss the ball and try to find a trophy position. I have them toss the ball and then swing later, okay? Don't try to hit the ball. If you try to hit the ball, you're gonna to default to your old swing. So you have to do a lot of work. If you really wanna change, change your trophy position and serve like a pro, you've gotta do a lot of work without hitting the ball. Most players are in a rush. They wanna they want to get over, um, they want to, get over to, uh, to hitting serves right away, and that's not how it works. Okay, this trophy position is one of the most important positions in the service motion that you must master if you want to develop your serve at a high level. It's overlooked, it's not practiced enough, there aren't enough drills out there that I've seen to get players in this position. And remember, it's always about position, position, position. You must be in better position with your body and with your racket and your hand to be able to play like the pros. And you have to think of it like that. I must get into better position when I learn these techniques. That's so, so important. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Turn on the notifications so that you can get updated on all of our latest releases. We absolutely love the comments that you're leaving here. We appreciate you for taking the time to leave these comments, to leave your questions, and to let us know what future content you would like us to create over here at Tennis Evolution. So thank you for that. From the bottom of my heart, I am so grateful for all the support that we receive. And before you go today, I've got a free gift to offer you. I've got a free instructional course. We've got premium lessons on the serve, the forehand footwork, singles and double strategies, absolutely free. And it's inside the Tennis Evolution app. You can click the link in the description below or somewhere in this video to get access to our app. It's absolutely free. Science proves that if you watch these videos inside of an app, because it's so accessible, it's so easy, you're gonna watch more content. And when you watch more content, you're gonna improve. You're, it's gonna go into your brain, it's gonna go into your body when you get out of the court, and you're gonna get better faster. So click the link in the description below or somewhere in this video, and we're gonna see you inside the Tennis Evolution app. Thanks so much for your time today. We'll see you at the next lesson. This is Jeff, Jeff Salzenstein, over and out.